concern around the world has hit home, and that is Wi-Fi radiation and its potential impact on children exposed to it every day through school wireless routers. Andrew McCann tells us how a growing number of Montgomery County parents are demanding answers. Consider this. In Los Angeles, school officials dramatically limited student exposure to Wi-Fi radiation. France recently banned Wi-Fi in nursery schools, and schools in Germany, Austria, Israel, and Australia have pulled the plug on Wi-Fi altogether. That deep concern is now in our community. As a parent, I think that it's my job to ask questions. So I asked a lot of questions, and I didn't get any answers. Fifteen parents with children at seven different Montgomery County public schools all share the same concerns. They're worried about the potential health risks of the Wi-Fi installed in their children's schools last summer and the radiation that comes with it. I just don't see the benefit that they get by being irradiated for 30 hours a week at school. Using Maryland's Public Information Act, some of the parents obtained records detailing the number of wireless routers installed in the ceilings. For example, they indicate Bells Mill Elementary in Potomac has 30. Nearby Churchill High School has close to 100. We know that microwave radiation, which is what wireless is, at certain doses can cause damage. There's no debate about it. The question is, is the level of microwave radiation that kids are being exposed to in school a problem? And the answer is, we don't know. Radiation tests conducted by MCPS at two local schools indicate levels that meet FCC guidelines. How much more radiation do you get into a child than an adult? But parents and scientists argue those guidelines were issued 19 years ago, were never specific to the impact on children, and are therefore irrelevant. The routers you're finding in schools, they're not your mom and pop little routers we have in our homes, which are very low powered. These can cost thousands of dollars and they can emit much more powerful uh, signals. That's disconcerting and unacceptable to many parents. Our pediatrician in Rockville um, has said not a good idea for kids to be around this stuff. We do not believe there's, there's any present cause for concern. Chief Technology Officer Sherwin Collette says the Wi-Fi technology is safe and the school system is committed to keeping it that way. We'll even go so far as to bring in uh, independent uh, uh, third-party entities to help verify and validate what those emission levels are. It doesn't have to be proven because it might take years for it to be proven. Why would we wait years? Because you can't go back in time with your kids. Andrea McCarran, WUSA 9. One of those parents would like the school system to opt for hardwired computers instead of the wireless technology. They say it's faster and it's safer, no health concerns there. But the school system says to keep learning innovative, you need to be mobile. And they're going to stick with the Wi-Fi.